Hole two, par five, 455 yards. It's a blind tee shot up towards the stake on top of the hill. I've just landed on this here. It's absolutely rock solid here. I've come down underneath it. Really, really, it's like I've got a nice new oil coming. Most of it's because of the weather. It hasn't had any rain. So, you know, it's not as good as all these top mark courses and all that. I've just got a bad, bad lie and it's squirted off to the back of the green. I couldn't do anything about it, really. Should have put it or something like that. But hey ho, there you go. The greens as well, the greens aren't in really good condition. It's, it's dried out. Really dried out. Well, I've just walked up to the wrong tee. Up there, there's a marker that says the eighth tee is up there, and I couldn't see the third tee because the marker post is buried in all the weeds here. But there you go, it's in there somewhere. 412, par 4, stroke index 4, third hole. And again, it's known for the marker post, a blind hole. Thirty-three yards, par four, stroke index twelve. This one's another blind hole over the tops. Probably aimed just right for of the pile. You make that out. Hole five, 360 yards, part four, stroke index 12. And I think we're on top of like a little reservoir here. Green's in awful condition. Let's state this. It is dry, it's been a dry summer, but I think that's probably the worst green I've ever seen that. And it's all around here. Look at this. Jeez. That's not just happened overnight that. That's took a long time to get like that. Why was I? That's horrific. Hole six, one three two yards, par three, stroke index eight. And it looks quite a nice hole this. You can see it over there. Just over there. 
the top of that massive bunker. That's uh, a tricky one, this. Hole seven, 452 yards, par five, stroke index 14. And this is another blind shot over the mark. Hole eight, three six seven yards, par four, stroke index six. I'll just show you why that pitch went right off the back of the green. These things, these greens are like like marble Look at that <laughs> it's just bare soil that's basically a pitch there with a 60 I, I thinned it a little bit but it's gone right off the edge look at this around here where I'm putting now unbelievably dry so you know, we look back in winter and when it's all waterlogged and Forget how dry this is. Nip this was in August. Look at that. See what I can do through here. I don't stand a chance, but let's see what happens. Hole 9, 131 yards, par 3, stroke index 18. Hole 10, 336 yards, par 4, stroke index 13. Let's go over to the tee. This is another one where you aim for the kick out the stake. Just a blind hole. Seven yards, par three, strong index. This is a difficult hole, this one. Over, what is a lake? Onto a flat on green.
that's it. Par four, 12 hole, 382 yards. Par stroke index three. Hole 13, 299 yards, par 4, stroke index 17. This is an elevated tee to a green. Hole 14, 262 yards, par 4, stroke index 9. T shot, small target over a, a ravine. This looks tough. Things like this on this course that are really not acceptable. Look at that in the middle of a green. Just, how much did it take to repair that? Look. Your ball lands in that, it's, well, it's a drop in it, but it's no good. Hole 15, 393 yards, par 4, stroke index 1 over that it's through them tight trees and over that ravine there and I'll be honest with you I've no idea where my, uh, where my tee shot went because we directly into the Sun I mean it's behind the cloud there but I just couldn't see it go there's, there's three other people looking for balls there they just hit it bouncing in any direction it's just a it's just a nightmare. So I'm going to drop one here and play this one for a I can't count this though. There's a the tee over there. I just didn't see it go. This is what you're facing here. If you miss a green, I've just missed this right. And look at that slope. That's take it's tuck it down there. Lucky. There's been a few where I've lost. Look at that way, it's took it off that slope. Hey everybody, um, so just got back from Eaton Park golf course. Um, the battery went, I think it was on the 15th, 16th hole. I can't remember which one. Um, I ended up going around with a couple of lads, a couple of young lads who, they were high handicappers, play different courses. And I think they'd lost 20 balls between them on the course that day. It's a tough course, a really tough course, Eaton Park. Um, but I don't know who it's for. It's in poor condition at the moment. It's begging for rain. Um, nature's going to sort that out. But I think it needs more maintenance. There's, it looks like it's poorly maintained. There's 
too many the rough too penal um it's the, the, the fairways are not that good the greens are awful they're the worst greens i've ever seen um they just need looking after and tendering i just wish they'd put some more money back into that course uh it's desperate it needs it because i love municipal courses the country needs municipal courses to get people into golf um they need to put some of the money that goes into it back into that course uh it's a cut i'm not going to be playing it again no i'm not i won't play it again it's i don't really know who it's for i think for high handicappers it's too tough yeah sorry i was just disturbed then um yeah i don't know who it's for the course i don't think it's for well high handicappers could play it but it's, it's a tough course for high handicappers some of the ravines some of the undulations and especially with it being windy like today and and the greens being impossible they, they struggle they won't go back on there any high handicapper won't go back on there um low handicappers it's not in good enough condition and it's too short some of the holes are they, they're tricky it's it, it give anyone a test but it has to be in a better condition than that a really struggle i don't know I feel sorry for the people who run this course it, it's it's going to be empty this course it, it needs sort 